Hey. Hello. I'm Megan. And I'm Whitney. And together, we're Wagon. We're back for the third week for Diva. And we've been vlogging about our secret project. Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Last week we did promise you that this week we would reveal what the secret we project did. is. We, we did. We did make that promise. We did. And uh, are we going to keep the promise? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, do I really want to know? I don't know. Probably not. Do you, do you want to know? Why is my battery flashing at me? Eek. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? Well, stay tuned and we will tell you in a little bit. 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 First of all, we want to just have another little chat with you as we do each week. And we want to talk to you about the experience of us finding love as feminine lesbians, aka femmes, fem lesbians, whatever you want to call yourself, lipstick lesbians. Um, it can be tough out there. Definitely. It can be really difficult. You can't always rely on gaydar. Nope, certainly can't. Doesn't um, work. I'm talking about the actual gaydar, not the website. There's a lot of problems that we feel you encounter when you are a feminist being trying to find love and that's either um, getting assumed that you're straight and that's one both the gay and the straight community from both our experiences. Definitely. Entering a gay club, bouncers like, do you know what kind of bar this is? And like, yeah, yes, bitch. Yes, we do. So uh, there's that and there's also when you're in a bar and you look at another feminine girl and you're like, yeah, but is she gay or is she just... And then she's really nice to you. Hanging out with gays. And turns out she just wants a new best friend and you're looking for a girlfriend and it gets a little awkward. Yeah. What's happened to me? So we ended up finding love on MySpace of all places. We did. And we did long distance between the UK and Hawaii. For four years. We sure did. So we understand how difficult it can be, um, you know, to find a femme. Whether you're a femme looking for a femme or if you're any type of lesbian looking for a femme, it can often be difficult because no matter what, at the end of the day, how do you know? How do you know? I know. I literally want to walk around with a sign when I was younger. It was like, it said like, I'm a big fat gay. Lesbian. lesbian. Yeah. Lesbian. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. So in being honest, we think it's time to reveal what our secret project is. We're really, really, really excited and we hope that you're going to love it. We will reveal more next week and talk in detail about it, but take a little look at these. Take it away! Have any questions in the comments and we will answer them in our final vlog for Diva. Dun, dun, dun. 